This is John T for the Boxing Voice, and I'm joined by Coventry's own River Wilson Bent. How you doing, mate? Yeah, doing really well, buddy. Thank you. Good what about stuff. yourself? Yeah, I'm really well. Thanks for asking. Well, look, Thank we're going to jump straight into it. I've got lots to ask you, but I'll start off with that press conference. Yep. That was meaty, I'll be yep. honest. They don't always go like that. Some of the press conferences, they actually are quite nice, but there seemed to be some real needle there. Yeah, definitely. It was down on the pitch earlier. He pushed me in my back. He's going on like I was making a bit, trying to be friends with him and... I don't know what he's saying. He's just making a load of bullshit on the on the cameras just to make me look stupid. At the end of the day, the only person who's going to look stupid is when he's asleep. Fair play. I'm going to deal with him on Saturday. Okay, well, look, last time out, I'll go back to that bit just before we carry on. We had you yep. on before the fight. You said you were going to win when we had you on the site, yep. uh, and you did that. You know what? Is it 10-0 now with five knockouts? Yeah. So another good win. What did you learn from that fight? Uh, just I got the 10 rounds in. Do you know what I mean? So I'm glad I got the... I just showed them that I've got the 10 rounds at a very high pace. And, yeah, I'm just... I'm just a good lad, mate. I'm, I just I live by the sport. I train hard and that's it. Yeah. And to be fair to you, you've dealt with everything that's been put in front of you. So he, he did say up on stage there a little bit about maybe who have you fought. I wouldn't agree with that, but you definitely are stepping up in levels. Now, this is for the English title. Yeah. I think it was mandated. You you would be the bookie's favourite and you're the home fighter. But are you expecting a tougher challenge from him than maybe you've had yeah, before? Yeah, yeah, he's going to be, obviously, he's going to bring different things to the table, but... You know what? It's nothing that I've never seen before, and like, it's, it's a simple fighter. And I'll, I'm, I'll just I'll beat him. I'm gonna beat him long. I'll beat him short. I'll beat him any way I need to beat him. But I just know that I'm a better fighter than him. So are you expecting to uh, maybe because it's a tougher challenge that it might go the distance? You might need to get this on points. Or oh, mate, to be fair, I feel like he's gonna be that behind in the fight at one stage. He's gonna to have to run at me, and he's because this is his last chance. Come on, man, this is his last chance. He's boxed the English title twice already. Third time, it's his last chance. He's gonna come at me. So when he runs at me making them mistakes, he's going to get hurt. Mm, fair enough. Look, he has had 13 wins himself. He's had a couple of draws, but he's had two defeats, which obviously you haven't experienced yet, which yeah. is great. Those two defeats, though, do come at the hands of good level opposition. So yeah. one was Linus Udofia. I think he's 17-0 and 0 now, yeah, just been yeah. on Sky Sports. He's definitely banging on the door for British titles and even European soon. Uh, and the other one is against Cartwright, who's actually headlining the away fighter against Shaq and Peters at a higher weight. So he's definitely got some experience. Do you think that that will help him on the night? Nah, mate. Well, experience is experience. It just doesn't matter, really. you just got to adapt to what's in front of you. And I'm really good at that, adapting to what's in front of me. So he can say the experience he wants, but it is what it is. When Every time I box somebody who comes to beat me or who comes to throw punches at me, I've stopped. Mm -hmm. So if he, everyone who's throw punches at him has beat him. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So that says it all. Fair enough. And look, we don't want you sort of like running ahead. I know you've got Saturday night to think about, but should you come through it, you'll have your English belt. Where do you start looking at? And good luck, lad. Where do you start you. looking at then? You know, some names out there. Denzel Bentley's back in the mix after well, the weekend, maybe. Yeah, well, I like Denzel. I've done a few good few rounds of him. But yeah, if that name got thrown in there, I'd definitely have it. Um, Linus has just been, he's made mandatory now for the British. Felix Cash, as they catered about. So obviously, after I, if, when I win this, then I can fight uh, Linus. Remember the great time. Excellent stuff. And how's the ticket sell? It's going, obviously. Oh, good, man. You know the tickets. You know what I'm about, mate. The tickets go well. They're good. flying off. They're still going now. People are still messaging me. Um, I had a handful of tickets, like paper tickets. They sold, sold out straight away. Then I was sending people to the link. And yeah, I think we're nearly sold out, to be fair. Well, I'll tell you what, whatever tickets are left after that press conference, when we get that up on the site, there'll be one or two people wanting to get up yeah, and watch yeah, that. Yeah, it's going to be a good one, I'll tell you. And how was it being on the pitch? You're on the... Uh, it's very tribal uh, fans. If you can get football fans behind you in a city or a town, and you're obviously in a city, that will just increase your popularity and stuff like yeah. that. It must have been a great experience for you being on that pitch. Oh, yeah, definitely. It was crazy. Like, obviously, standing in front of like 19,000 people, and then from everyone from your own city as well, and I, I heard individual boy voices shouting, oh, do you know what I mean? So yeah, it's, yeah. it's brilliant. So imagine one day when I'm on the pitch with a British title and they're all singing it. That's what we'd like. Good stuff. As always, loads of confidence, loads of energy. We're really looking forward to this one, mate. Uh, good yeah. luck on Saturday. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com. Bachelor's The Boxing Voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, from Title, betting shows. The list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.